since Warframe is a rather complicated game, and new player might have a lot of question about the game, I decided to make a quick and efficient guide for beginners. First of all, I suggest you grab Excalibur as your starter Warframe because it is easy to understand, and easy to play. If you're wondering you can get Volt from Dojo with no effort, and you can get Mag from Iliad and Phobos. And if you happen to not chose Excalibur as your starter Warframe, then bully for you, you can't get him again. <laughs> Kidding, you can get him from No Dwar and Mars. Warframe has its own unique movement system, which contains stuff like bullet jumping, air gliding etc. The movement is what distinguishes a beginner from a seasoned player as those who have mastered these skills are more fluent and move through the tile set like wind. If you're wondering what a tile set is just consider it the map for now, if you want to practice your movement skills, every time you see an enemy, the floor is lava, if you stay on floor too long you lose. If you don't even know how to do that, you should really take the advanced movement training in Codex. You should complete the star chart as soon as possible, so you get access to missions that drop Warframe parts different resources that will be necessary and the best endo farm in the game, which is arbitration missions. Just a quick note, if you don't have access to a certain resource, just go to the recruit chat and ask for help. If you're wondering, LF stands for looking for, H means either help or hosting. In trade chat WTB stands for want to buy, WDS is want to sell and WTT stands for want to trade. Okay let's continue, get yourself to mastery rank 14 as soon as possible, so you can use all the weapons in the game, you can get mastery rank by leveling Warframe's weapons, companions and arch wings for the first time also completing junctions give 1000 mastery points too, by the way weapons you forma and level again don't count. Credits Index If you don't have access to it or don't have a strong enough arsenal, the latest excavation the dark sector you have access to, something along the lines of T. Colin Earth, and don't stay in mission for long, extract as soon as possible, since the credits are mission completion reward and don't increase if you stay longer. Endo as already mentioned arbitration, if you don't have access to it yet, any survival or excavation in Uranus or planets that come after it. Plastids, Nanospores and Neurods. Eris, Zabala. If you don't have it yet, either go to Recruit Chat or the latest Dark Sector mission on a planet that drops them. You can check the drops by clicking on Resource Drones button on bottom right of Star Chart interface and hovering the mouse over the drone icon. Argon Crystal Any mission in the void is good, but my favorite is Ani. Also remember that they decay and disappear from your inventory starting from 24 hours after you got them. Control Modules in Ferrite 
Everything like class 1 except no DK. Rubido and alloy plate. Sedna Amarna. Polymer bundle and gallium. Uranus Asur. Circuits. Venus Malva. Orokin cells. Saturn Piscinus. Morphix. Mars Wahib. Salvage, hexanon and neural sensors. Jupiter Camiria. Cryotics. There is two options here, if you just want cryotics go to Earth Everest, but if you want cryotics and some other good drops, go to Pluto Hierarchan. Relics. You can always check the drop locations of relics in wiki or codex if you want, but some generally good locations for relics are Lith relic, Hepit speed runs. Miso, if you like speed runs go to Yuko, not 100% chance but still the fastest way, but if you like it to be slower but sure, and also not boring, go to Jupiter Io. Neo, any tier 3 defense mission like Hydran and Sedna. Xe, my favorite location is Hierarchan on Pluto. But to be fair Zinni on Eris is the fastest location be it with a team or a good setup but it is fun boring. For platinum crack relics and sell prime parts, if you want price ranges check Warframe market and then trade them for platinum. Also Syndicate mod and weaponry are a good way to make platinum just don't sell the mods for less than 10. Hoarding primed mods to sell later for platinum or Prisma or Wraith weaponry from Baroque tier, that comes every 2 weeks, just keep in mind that prime mods have a 1 million credits trade fee. I highly suggest you do not touch Steel Meridian, unless you really like heck, and don't have the plat to buy the Vaker variant, because way too many people are in it, I would suggest you go with Arbiters of Hexus or New Loka depending on which weapons you like. I got a bad feeling about this. Get yourself the rare mods required for builds. Unfortunately there are too many necessary mods and I will be making a video on them soon. So stay tuned for that. Yeah.